Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of Geography 101 for A-level Geography. Today we're going to be doing wave refraction. So here I'm just drawing a coastline. Um, the bit above is the land and the bit below is the sea. Um, so here we can see two headlands and two or three bays. Um, so the areas just in front of the headlands are shallower and that will become clear in a minute but you do need to know that it's shallower there which means that as the waves approach they'll have to slow down. So I'm going to draw a wave approaching the shore from above so this is the orthogonal of the wave um, and the first one is just a simple straight line because it's a uniform depth. The second one however is going to be a bit trickier um, so just in front of the headland is a bit shallower, so that means that this wave, this part of the wave front, will have to be going slower um, when it arrives. So it will be slightly behind kind of where you'd expect it to be. And then, but then here in front of the bay, it's deeper, so it can go faster. And again, yeah, so you've kind of got that when it's approaching the shore. And the wave front that's even closer to the shore is going to be even more wiggly because it's even more kind of affected by, you know, how the shallowness and the depth. So now I'm going to draw the kind of individual waves. Um, so the one that's going to the bay is just going to be going straight forward. Um, constant speed. It's pretty solid. It's nothing complicated. The one that's going to the headland, straight onto the headland, is also going in a straight line, as you can see kind of in relation to the um, orthogonals. However, however, the ones that are on the side of the headland, they're going to curve round, which doesn't seem to make sense unless you look at the overall kind of bird's eye view of it, because you can see that um, they slow down. And they're at kind of equal um, distances from each other. Um, so, of course, technically it's one big kind of wave front, but um, each of the ones that we've drawn up on are at roughly equal distances to each other. We've got the same area of bay and the same area of headland. However, the headland has four waves breaking on it, while the bay only has one wave breaking on it. Obviously, it's more, but yeah, it means that the energy is concentrated along the headland, so there will be more erosion at the headland. Um, this will result in the uh, cliff receding a bit um, and that's why there's shallower area before it as the shore platform. Of course due to differential erosion this doesn't mean that the coastline will get more flat um, because the bays are also eroding quite fast for different reasons but we'll talk about that next time. Thanks for watching, bye bye!